Hey everybody, welcome back. Hey, guess what? My hatching eggs came. Woohoo! So let's take a peek. Blue Orpington hatching eggs. Whew. Oh, so they're all little. They're in the soft little egg curtain. Oh, it's so cute. Look at them. Let me get these out. Oops, they're falling on the floor. <clears throat> so pretty. <clears throat> so they came in the mail this morning while I was at work. Oh, that's a little tiny guy. Oh my gosh, they're little tiny beaners. <laughs> my Orpingtons lay very large eggs. Oh, this is the better size. So I am going to check the air sacs and make sure that they are still intact because a lot of things I hear about shipping eggs is that the air sacs detach from being jostled around too much. Boy, these are teeny tiny eggs. Oh my. They are different colors though. So I wonder what color, well... They're obviously from different parents, mothers. Oh, they are pretty. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right. I'm going to actually get a flashlight and see if I can see them first. Okay, so I found one. And it looks like the air sac is... I don't know if you'd be able to see this. Let me see if I can turn this. The air sac is on the top, and the air sac doesn't move. I don't know if I can hold it just right. I don't know if I can hold my camera just right for you to see it. But the air sac is right along the edge here, and it's not moving. So it is attached. So I labeled them all numbered one through eight. So I am going to put three underneath her, and I'm going to put the five in my incubator. I'm going to give it a try and see how it goes. Either way, they'll probably, they'll all hatch about the same time. So I'll just stick whatever chicks I get out of the incubator underneath her when things go well. Or if I have another broody hen, I can just stick the babies underneath them too. I'm going to work really quick. I'm going to set the eggs. Two. Three, four, five. Look at this little tiny one. So cute. Okay, five. They are in. Quick. Oh boy, if I can get the top on. Correctly. This thing is kind of awkward, but there. Make sure it's closed all the way. It'll get back up to temperature and humidity. And we're good to go. So I put one through five in here. Six, seven, eight are underneath uh, Cocoa Melon 2. And uh, we'll uh, just keep an eye on everything and make sure. I wouldn't be surprised if I end up with another broody hen in the coming weeks. So actually this will be really perfect because if we do hatch them out here, I can 
let the girls go broody out there and just kind of stick chicks underneath them. Uh, so I have written on my uh, dry erase board calendar and they're actually going to hatch Well, I'm on vacation. So I'm going to be home and I get to see them hatch. So then we can um, keep an eye on everything and make sure everything goes well. So stay tuned because we are going to have babies. Woohoo! So it's day three. I didn't get a chance to get a video uh, putting the eggs underneath her because it was getting kind of dark. I did it later at night. So she would take them. Oh my God, it was so cute. I totally wish I would have gotten that on video because it was adorable. But I gave her, there she is in the second box. I gave her three eggs. Hmm. That's Spartacus. Can you hear him? <laughs> uh, so I gave her number six, number seven, and number eight. And number one through five are in the incubator and everything's going very well. So I'm very excited. <clears throat> He's so cute. We'll come over and see him. I can't go in, I don't have any shoes on. But I got a lot to do. Spartacus, you wanna say hi to everybody? I mean, he's adorable. Hi. <laughs> he's an olive egger. Everybody is kind of getting along kind of nicely over here. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> Isn't it so cute? It's such a tiny crow. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see. <clears throat> I would like an Orpington rooster, so I have the hatching eggs are uh, blue Orpington. So if I get a rooster out of this clutch, then uh, Spartacus, I will find a new home for him. But anyway, it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful Saturday. Um, I'm looking ahead here I started I started weeding my my onion area I'm gonna get onions all in here uh, the garlic is coming up real nice so I'm gonna start right right next to the garlic and just go all the way down I got a couple volunteer garlics from last year oops and then there's one over here but I also found all this milkweed and I am not pulling this out there's milkweed everywhere, which is great. Um, I hatch out a lot of uh, monarch butterflies, so I'm cool with that. Just let it go. I'll just I'll just plant around them. They're fine. I'm gonna use them in my enclosure. Not a big deal. But uh, I also wanted to talk about the date. Today is May 13th. So we're getting on the tipping point here. We are at the tipping point of when you can plant and when you can't plant. So at this point, you just just pay attention to the weather channel, just the weather, the app. Pay attention to the lows. Um, at this point, the, during the day, the temperatures are fine. We're not we're not ever worried about a freeze during the day. Here at this point, it's just the night. So I looked ahead, and Wednesday, it'll be 34 as the low, and that's going to be the lowest. So. Um, it's only a few days, so any seeds I want to put in, I may just put them in this weekend and let them go because they are obviously not going to germinate by Wednesday. Maybe some of my lettuce seeds, but they'll be okay. 34 is in my general area. I tend to not be quite as cold as what the Weather Channel app says just because we have mountains on both sides of us, so it tends to be a little tempered. Plus the area that I have put my garden is in between all of those bushes, uh, the shed, and the back of my garage. So it tends to not fully get a, a hard frost on the parts of the garden that I'm going to be planting seeds. So I'm going to see what I can put in. This is so exciting. But the onions have uh, overstayed their welcome on my front porch. They are like dying to have a bigger area. So I can put them in, <clears throat> I can put them in now. I'll put my carrot seeds down. Um, I'll show you the potatoes here in just a minute. 
but I wanted to kind of before I I worked today got some extra hours in so I just got home from work so I'm just gonna rip it hook the hose up let's do it let's get this done but I also I don't know if this is chamomile that came up from my chamomile last year I had it all went to seed and it all seeded I had planted it here so it would make sense that it was here so it might be it might not be not quite sure <laughs> I can't remember what it looks like I'll look it up see what my plant finder says so here we go okay it got hot really fast you know it's time to bring the big old brim hat out so since I have a ton of garden soil left and that was what I planned to do I topped dressed this bed so I'm gonna plant this section and see how far I go so these are my yellow onions I planted them from seed I just sprinkle them on the dirt I have a ooh, video on how to plant these from seed and if I can set this up right let me see <laughs> stuff you in here all right stay so you can plant them this way because the the roots are very fibrous so you can pull them apart and you won't really hurt them you just still have to be gentle but you can pull them and they kind of just untangle themselves and there's your roots so here's a single onion if you can see it has well that was the first leaf this was the second but right now what's live is this second leaf so this is more than ready to plant and this is a perfect example so i'm just going to put this in and it's going to grow this is a first year plant this is why i have found that i really like planting onions from seeds oops i'm sitting on my other ones i like planting them from seed because if i buy them in a set they tend to um, grow a flower because technically uh, an onion set is a second year plant. So they are biannual, so they grow a flower on the second year. I don't want that to happen because the, the plant puts all its energy into this big flower to produce seeds, so it's not gonna produce this bulb. So that's why I just plant them from seed. I They're cheap, they're really cheap. So you can just sprinkle them in plant as many as you want. I've had great success doing this, so I'm just gonna keep doing it. So I'm gonna go through and plant. These are all my yellow onions. I'm just gonna plant as many as I can. Usually I just kind of get tired of doing it and then I stop. But I tend to um, plant more yellow onions than anything else because the yellow onions seem to store better than the, than the red ones, then the white ones are the worst. So when I buy my onion seeds, you can get a long day or a short day onion. So if you are above the 37 degree latitude line on the earth, you want a long day onion. If you are below it, you want a short day onion. So these are long day onions. Perfect. So here we go. All right, everybody's planted. We've got the yellow onions here. I planted the most of them. Then the red onions. And then the white onions. I try to just plant enough that I'm gonna use the whites because they don't last very long. Yeah. So the onions are in. I'm gonna keep them watered. I watered them in. I will water them every day until they get established. So. This is the time that I get up earlier in the morning and I come out here and do stuff before I go to work. It's the name of the game. So that's what happens when you work full time and try to do all this stuff. It's okay, it's very rewarding. So stay tuned because uh, the next video we're gonna be uh, planting carrots. I'm gonna head right in and start planting some carrot seeds. So hit that subscribe button if you haven't done it now. 
follow us on our journey as we get some hatching eggs going. So I'll do videos on that all the time. Woo, the sun is so nice. It is very nice to get outside. And as always, from my coop to yours, thank you for growing with me so I can grow with you.